it's Haley, and today I'm going to be talking about something super exciting that I don't know if I've shared on my channel too much, but today's video is going to be part one out of three of a new series I'm going to do. It's just like a really short series, nothing crazy. But if you guys didn't already know, I've mentioned this on social media, so if you don't follow me on social media, you should. But I'm going abroad to France and doing a homestay immersion program with other stuff mixed into it, which I'll explain more about later. But yeah, so I wanted to make a series all about that. Part one is going to be today, which is going to be the process of applying and everything leading up to the program. And then the second thing is I'm going to just be vlogging. It might be one long vlog, it might be a couple. So that will come once I'm actually there. And then after everything and I've taken some time to like process being in a different country and I'm back home, you know, and rest after the total like uh, jet lag and stuff. I will make an experience video about everything I've learned and then just my overall experience and stuff like that. But today is going to be the application part of the series, so I hope this is helpful for you. Even if you're not going through the same program as me, which you most likely are not, I think this still would be a helpful video because I've watched so many videos really similar to this one, so I want to make one for other people to help them out. So yeah, if I miss anything, I'm totally sorry. Ask me any questions down below, but yeah. Really quickly before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe down below if you have not already and hit that little bell for notifications so you never miss one of my uploads. But with all that being said, let's get into the video. So I have notes on my phone in case I leave anything out. I'm probably still going to leave something important out. I'm all, I, my apologies. I guess I'll start out with why I'm going. So I've taken French for two years. This is my second year and I'm taking IB third year French next year. I didn't take it freshman year because I took Mandarin um, in middle school for half a semester or half a year and then I ended up wanting to be like, oh, we'll just stick to the same language in freshman year. But then I just didn't work well with me. I can, the language wasn't too hard for me, but the characters were just really difficult for me and I, it just didn't click. But my family, everyone in my family and our family friends have taken French, so I was like, and my best friend Jenna, you know her, she's in videos, also took French, so I was like, okay, French sounds really cool. I'm, I like the culture from what I've seen, so I decided to take French last year sophomore year and I'm a junior now. Tomorrow's my last day of school so I'll be a senior after that, that's crazy. But yeah, so I've taken two years of French, planning to continue it and I just really have, especially this year, fallen in love with French and the culture and it's just, I find it really interesting and I really wanna, my goal is to become bilingual and just get do really good with French. And like with any language, the key to getting really good at it is through immersion. So I've, this specific program that I'm going with is called Ondeo and they had come to my French class and does, done presentations last year, but last year um, I didn't really think anything of it, but then this year I was like, okay, cool, maybe this sounds like something I could do. But I wasn't seriously thinking about it because I didn't think my parents would say yes, you know, going to a different country, it's obviously expensive, and then I'd be alone in a different country, which I've never done before. Yeah, I've never left the country before, and I've never traveled by plane by myself either. So, basically, Eventually, it, I talked to my mom and stuff, and we both agreed that this was like an opportunity that I can't really pass up, so then we decided to do it, and this is where the application process and stuff starts out. So the specific program I'm doing is in Paris. I'm not going to reveal too many details about the program because I haven't gone yet, and just like for privacy reasons and stuff, I don't really want to reveal too many details, but everything, like, I'll reveal it in the experience video and then like you'll see in the vlogs too so it's not like it's gonna remain a secret and I'm just leaving out like specifics of the program and stuff like that but so my specific program is two weeks in a certain part of France and it's with a host family but you're also doing other stuff outside of that which I'll get into later and yeah so for applying sorry I'm reading notes on my phone so the first thing you do is outside of the program I'm going with they have an initial application so you fill out that and it's just very very basic information I, I don't remember exactly because I started oh yeah I applied in um, December and the program is for this summer for two weeks in the summer initial application was just like your name address email phone number all this stuff like that just very very basic and then you put in uh, like I think it was $200 deposit to res reserve your spot in the program so after you do the initial application I did this the day we got out for winter break from school so I want to say like December 20 something I don't remember I can look it up and I'll put it on the screen and I was waiting to hear back but obviously and I think I heard back the next Monday because that was on a Friday or Thursday or something and I heard back the next Monday, so you wait to hear back, and then you get an email from whoever your coordinator is, and my court, you get a specific coordinator, co coordinator 
who helps you through the program, sends you the emails, reminds you of deadlines and stuff like that. So I got an email and it was basically, I don't remember exactly, but it was a link to the in-depth application or maybe that was an automated email too, I'm not sure. But so you get a link to the in-depth application and the in-depth application is um, they tell you that you should expect to spend at least like 20 minutes or more, or maybe it was an hour, I'm not sure. I think it was an hour, filling out information about yourself, in-depth stuff. But before that, before you fill it out, because you have to do it all at once, you need a letter to your host family, a collage of photos of you, a singular photo of you, and three recommendations. So for the recommendations, I got two of them from teachers. One of them has to be your language teacher. So I got one from my French teacher, one from one of my other teachers. I got another one from my godmother because you could just do anyone who can vouch for you, I guess. So then after that, you have to do the photo of you, which they just want a picture of you looking friendly because this is just the stuff that gets sent out to potential host families, I guess, or the host family that you eventually get. So I just sent in, I'll put the picture on the screen. It's not a very good one, but this is back before I had better pictures of me. So I sent this one in. And then for the collage, it's just about things, it's pictures of you and your family and friends and you doing things you like to do. So I put in pictures of me rock climbing, me hiking, me in like San Francisco and stuff like that, like traveling. And yeah, so I did that. I made it on PicMonkey actually. And then for the letter to the host family, you also, it's supposed to be about a page. And since you don't have your host family yet, it's supposed to be very generic. So it's just like, I just wrote dear host family. And then you just tell them about yourself. And then the specific program gives you like do's and don'ts of writing a letter and stuff like that. And writing that, I wrote it over the course of, of over like maybe a week or so, just editing it. It was fairly simple because it's just talking about yourself and your interests. And then once that's all done, you can eventually go into the in-depth application. They give you a little pin code to sign in. So I signed in and then I attached in the places I needed to attach all of that stuff that I just talked about, like the letter, the pictures, all that. And after that, you fill out the application. For me, there was, you put like just very specific stuff about yourself, nothing invasive, but like just specific stuff about yourself that like they should know. Like for me, since I'm vegetarian, I put, I'm vegetarian, so I don't eat meat or meat products because yeah, I'm just vegetarian and your host family is probably good that they know that you don't eat meat if you don't eat meat. But yeah, so after that you fill out the in-depth application and it says I read through the steps because on their website, I don't remember where I found it, but it gives you like the steps of applying and stuff like that. So the next thing was a phone interview. So after they got your in-depth application and reviewed it, your specific coordinator gets back to you and I had a phone interview set up for, I don't know, like a few days later. The phone interview is basically, it's in English or whatever your native language is. And it's just about the coordinator getting to know you and reviewing over your application and asking you any questions. And then mine also gave me like scenarios of what I would do. Like she said, if you were in the airport traveling with a group and you got lost in like a different country, what would you do? And then I just said that like I'd go and I try to use my vocab and go to like one of the people at the desks of like the different airlines. Or if I missed my flight, maybe that's what it was. And I just said I'd go talk to those people and she said that was a good answer. I was just getting to know you and then they also give you helpful tips. She told me some things I didn't think of. She was like, go to a French film festival. Like I kind of, like I already watch French films sometimes, but like she was go to the international film festival, see some French films. Um, what else did she say? She just told me a few like helpful tips of things, you know, to prepare. And then she and my mom chatted a bit and with any questions or concerns on her part. And then after the phone interview, you just have to wait for them to send your information to their partners in France, or at least that's what my program did. So about two or three weeks later, I got accepted to the program with a confirmation email, which was the most exciting day ever. This was in January, I believe. And the phone interview was like I said, two or three weeks before that. After the confirmation email you should that your coordinator sends you, you soon after receive a, uh, what's it called, orientation materials email. And this orientation materials email for me came with a packet, like the main packet, just basically describing your program, what to expect, what you should do, little hint or tips and stuff like that. Uh, a whole sheet about culture shock and like how to deal with that, packing info and just like tips on what to pack and what not to pack and just saving space and stuff like that and a traveler's code of ethics a bit about just like you're a guest in this country, the other country, like don't be a jerk basically. And then another thing was like research you should do on like the politics of that country and just current events you're up to date and you have stuff to talk about with your host family. And after that, we just had to send like the checks to pay off the program, which were due every couple months, they spread it out. And then after that, I, in May, end of May, like about three weeks ago, I got an email with information about a host family. 
and then they said that this is my host family and all that stuff like that. Found out like a week after that that this host family had a family emergency come up and they had to cancel and they're really sorry and stuff like that. So that was totally fine, but then the program told me they were looking for another host family and then a week after that, I got my really great host family. I'm super excited and yeah. So they basically, when you get the host family, they give you their email and stuff and then you guys can contact each other and then me and my host family also exchange social media and stuff like that. But yeah, so that's pretty much everything about applying. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to ask them down below or if you, any of you have gone abroad or are planning to go abroad for a bit, I'd love to chat because this topic is just, if you're going, it's just very fun to talk about. I'm sure I'm gonna have a really interesting video when I get back. I am so excited. I will totally be vlogging as much as I can. Um, I'm gonna vlog a lot when I'm traveling by myself because I'm traveling there by myself. And, but then like obviously once I'm at like the host family's house, I'm not gonna be invasive and like vlog there, you know? But I'm gonna vlog like all the things I'm doing during my days and stuff like that as much as I can. I'm gonna have a ton of pictures. I am so excited, you guys don't even know. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful or interesting if you're not going abroad. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have not already. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Goodbye!